been a potter, a tr traditional craft potter for ooh, over 20 years, based in Cumbria, making uh, slip decorated earthenware. I'd heard about rapid prototyping and, and I thought, wow, I can basically make anything. And I'd be completely freed from the constraints of design for manufacture. I'd be completely freed from um, centrifugal force and gravity when I'm working on the wheel. And I was lucky to be able to take a couple of years out and do an MPhil research project at the Royal College of Art. I'd planned to undertake a project uh, where there was a sort of transition from hand skills through to digital skills, and I would monitor the whole process. A different part of my brain came alive, and I was quite fascinated between, the, between these two working processes, and I really wanted to bring them together. The Wedgwood Turin came about as a way of testing the design process, the software, the hardware, everything that is entailed in additive manufacturing, and to understand the sort of craft element of that process. And I wanted to choose an object that had some relevance. I wanted to choose something that had a significant meaning as a starting point. And I chose a piece by Josiah Wedgwood because he's there at the forefront of the Industrial Revolution. I wanted to choose something that would be recognized by people and then design it or redesign it in a way that it, where it couldn't be made using conventional hand or industrial ceramic technology. It could only be made using this new industrial revolution of additive manufacturing or 3D printing. What I did was created an image that looked like, a two-dimensional image that looked like a section through bone, and that was then projected through my uh, virtual tureen, uh, piercing it. That data was then sent through to the, the 3D printing machine and it's sliced up and printed layer by layer. I don't want the process to lead the way. I want the ideas to lead the way. I'm trying to tell a story. And the great thing about the surface treatments that I, that I, that I give these tureens and the other pieces that I make is that the palette isn't restricted to to traditional ceramic colors. So I just wanted to go as far away from, uh, from Wedgwood's palette as possible. I just wanted this thing to be as shocking as I could make it, uh, just to sort of, you know, subvert and play with the whole story of Wedgwood and, and, and the relationship with what we can do now. Where it's gonna go from here, I don't know. It, there's just so many possibilities and and yes uh, there's no reason why objects like these don't become the, the the sort of classics of the future